Oh, what up guys, it's your boy Carl Hewitt here, how are you all doing? Welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some new games that I brought yesterday. As most of you know now, I have the PlayStation 5, the white one, and it's absolutely brilliant. I've been playing mostly at the minute, Spider-Man Miles Morals, and I've just completed the main campaign, so I've just got the side bits to do, so I'm doing a little bit of that today. Um, but I've also, yeah, brought some new games, so I'll show you which one I've got. First one is a PS5 game, and it's the day one edition of Saints Row. Now, I loved the previous Saints Row games. I thought that was awesome, so I thought, sod it, we'll get the new one and try it out. And it looks really good, actually. You can do all sorts on it. It says, welcome to Santo Lizio. In a city rife with crime where lawless gangs fight for power, witness the birth of the saints as they start a new original adventure, new ori criminal venture in their bid to become self-made. So there, yeah, it's that one I've got. Then I noticed they had Saints Row um, re-elected. So... I brought that one as well. I loved playing this on the 360. It was absolutely brilliant. So I thought I'd get it for the PlayStation 4. Then I brought Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. Really loved this game. It's really good. I played the other ones before. But I am wanting to get the other ones again and playing them again. Because I used to have an account but I couldn't remember what it was. So I've had to set up a new account. So I'm wanting to play all of the... Uncharted games at some point. Then I brought Uncharted The Lost Legacy. Now I know you're going to say, well, that's on PlayStation Plus at the moment. It is, but I wanted a physical copy as well. And then the last one I brought is Dead Rising 4, Frank's Big Package. So they look really quite good. Because um, you can, obviously, as you know, you can play PS4 games on the PS5. You just need, if you want to save... The games, you can save it to the hard drive that's already on the P PS5. Or you can buy an external hard drive. But you can only save the PS4 games on the external. If you want to save PS5, you need to buy an internal SSD card. So I'm looking at getting one of them to expand my storage. But I've got quite a few digital games on my PlayStation due to having PlayStation Plus. That runs out on Saturday. And... I brought the extra, but this time I'm going to buy the premium, because then you can play PS3 games through the cloud. So that'll give me a whole more library of different games to play. But I'm absolutely loving my PlayStation. I was looking online, because you can buy cases for them, so you can take the white case off and put another one on it. And I was looking to see how much the Spider-Man one would be. And for the shell, it's £44 on eBay. I thought, right. And I looked to see how much the Spider-Man controller would be. Under an odd quid, and I was like, nah, I'm just going to keep it white for the time being. Might have a look at doing camo or something, but depends what the prices are and everything. But yeah, they're, they're the games I got, which I'm quite pleased with. Brought them from CX, I did a click and collect, so I ordered them, and then went down and they had them at the back ready to, for me to collect, so that's really good. So I hope you're all doing well and keeping okay. I know, as you noticed, I haven't done a video for a while. But I want to get back into doing videos again. So if you like this one, give it a like. And if you're new to the channel, I'd really love a subscribe. Subscribe. So yeah. And as always, I'll see you later.